Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you the SAS congruence postulate or simply SAS postulate. That stands for side angle side postulate. Okay, the postulate states that if two sides and an included angle of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding sides and included angle of another triangle, the triangles are congruent. So in this case, we're dealing with two sides and included angle. That's why we have side angle side. Now to better understand, let's have this illustration. We have our triangle HGI and IJK two triangle uh, two triangles now let us find first the corresponding sides okay corresponding sides we have our markings therefore following our markings we have HI corresponds to IK HI corresponds to IK we have three markings that indicates that they are congruent or correspond to each other now we have IG corresponds to IJ okay we have side and side now we need to find the included angle so if you want to master the definition of included angle go to our videos then watch the definition for included angle our included angle is here or in this case for the first triangle we have that one and for the second triangle we have this angle Okay, how do we know that the two angles are congruent? So remember the theorem, the vertical angle theorem, that if two intersecting lines bisect and form a vertical angles, then they are congruent. So we can say that angle GIH corresponds to angle KIJ KIJ now after finding the corresponding parts of the triangle we can now conclude that HI is congruent to IK we have angle G I H is congruent to angle KIJ and side IG or segment IG is congruent to segment IJ so we have now the side angle side and if that's the case we can now conclude therefore triangle HGI is congruent to triangle K, KJI. KJI. Okay. That is the SAS postulate. Now let's have a series of examples and exercises. Now let's have our exercises and examples under our side angle side postulate. Direction, write all the congruent parts of each pair of triangles. Prove that they are congruent. We have number one and number two. Let's try to answer our number one given. So we have here our parallelogram. 
A, B, C, D. And our first triangle, which is A, B, D. And the second triangle, we have B, C, D. Now, let us write all the congruent parts of the triangles. We know that, following the markings, angle A, B, D, Uh, ABD is congruent to angle BDC. BDC. And for the side, we have given one marking. So we have AB is equal to CD. Okay. Now we have side and angle now we need one more part of the triangle that are congruent using the reflexive property of congruence we know that side BD is congruent to side BD by reflexive property of congruence if that is the case we can now conclude that, so therefore, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CDB by side angle side postulate. Now let's have our problem number two. Again, we have quadrilateral here, K, L, M, N, and our first triangle and the second triangle. Now, let us write all the given. Okay, following our markings, we know that K, L is congruent to L, M. And angle K, L, N is congruent to angle MLN. MLN. Okay. Now again, using the reflexive property of congruence, we know that LN is congruent to LN. Now, our conclusion, triangle KLN is congruent to triangle M L N by S A S postulate. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.